Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a quick hands-on with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Lite that was showcased at the CES 2020 in Las Vegas. This phone comes with a 6.7 inch uh, Full HD Plus display with the Super AMOLED display technology, the Infinity O display having a cutout for the camera on the front and uh, while there are a few different uh, similarities with the Samsung Galaxy A71, the major difference is with the processor. It comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 855, the 7 nanometer flagship chipset that was present on the S series as well as on the Note devices, but now this is on the S10 Lite as well. And there are two variants, one with 6GB RAM and one with 8GB RAM, and the uh, internal storage stays at 128GB. And this runs Android 10, and the based on that, it's the One UI 2.0, which is uh, the latest One UI version. Uh, with a few uh, feature additions to the base uh, settings and also there's the face unlock as well as the uh, under display optical fingerprint uh, scanner for the unlocking of the phone and you can see there's no uh, fingerprint sensor on the back of the device which is now pretty common in uh, Samsung's phones because even the mid-range A-series phones have that under display uh, fingerprint technology and now for the cameras, Samsung has been promoting its new feature that's the super steady OIS uh, which is uh, basically not OIS if you ask me because it still uh, takes advantage of uh, the software but makes the videos much smoother and uh, that's uh, the gyro EIS being used but uh, Samsung claims that this is much better than the uh, regular EIS that is done by the other phones and there's that super steady option which again is a similar option seen on the uh, Galaxy Note 10 uh, Lite as well and even on the Samsung uh, Galaxy A71 and A51 but this is the only phone where uh, Samsung is advertising that feature very much even uh, with that uh, message on the back of the camera back of the device uh, near the camera where it says the super steady ois feature the phone comes with a 4500 mAh battery and also the super fast charging on the front is the selfie camera that it comes with a 32 megapixel sensor with the f2.2 aperture anyway with samsung phones you can see the selfie cameras to be doing quite a decent job and not just with the regular photos but also with the videos having the support for 4k videos at 30 fps with both the front and the rear cameras so as said earlier there were quite a few similarities between this and the samsung galaxy a71 with the screen size with the resolution also the battery capacity most of the cameras being the same but uh, the galaxy a71 had a 64 mp camera while the galaxy s10 lite has a 48 megapixel f2.0 the primary camera and the second one would be the 12 megapixel f2.2 wide camera this is not a quad camera setup it's a triple camera with the third one being the 5 megapixel f2.4 macro uh, camera and that's it about this phone the galaxy s10 lite should be coming soon into the indian market and it's in a way quite a good phone because of the flagship uh, chipset that it comes with but i guess there's some compromises with the camera aspect because it doesn't have uh, a dedicated depth sensor and otherwise uh, everything else is quite good on the device so that's it in this video I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to Gizmo Times for more. Thanks for watching and see you next video.